Nomad Nation, we are going to the beach. Back at our favorite lunch spot. Via go through these, having some quick lunch. We're trying to hurry up and then get to the bus station because we are headed to the beach. We're gonna go to Mbato and then we're gonna drive from there. So today for lunch, we're having a oatmeal chicken potato soup. Super hearty, super good, super filling. And the second is beef, rice, potatoes, avocado, and rice with fresh squeezed blackberry juice. We are on the bus. We are headed to Ambato and from Ambato we're going to jump in the car and we're driving straight to the beach. It's going to be an eight hour drive. Super excited. I haven't had a road trip like this in a long time um, and I haven't really seen that side of the country ever before so this is going to be a real fun trip. Time to get a taxi and get to the car. All right, Nomad Nation, we have an eight hour drive in front of us, 450 kilometers to go, and we'll be at the beach. Sun's already going down, so most of this drive will be at night, but I'll try to get as much footage as I can. into the drive five hours to go all the vegetation just changed to more coastal like plants all of a sudden so we got a lot of beach plants now it's not the same type of trees now so guys we are still three hours away we are five hours into the trip it's been pretty dark and windy this whole time we're coming to this cool LED bridge Finally in the little beach town though. The houses it looks super cute. All of a sudden, as soon as we got close to this hotel, the entire city changed. This is a high class city. You can tell there are some huge gated communities out here. And it looks crazy thinking about that after just driving through ghetto after ghetto. So they tuck themselves away in here. On the right. Where? Where? like that is bound to happen here in Ecuador. We have to figure out where the f we are now. Okay. All right guys, so we were told to come to this hotel. There's nobody here waiting for us. They said your room's gonna be open. 
and they give us vague directions on parking this car. So far, it hasn't been great since we got here. It is good, but stressful. So it's been a little confusing so far. We're walking in. We walked up. It's kind of hard to see. There was keys laying right there on this bar for us. They kind of just left everything out for us, so. Let's grow Nomad Nation. We are here at the Buena Vida Hotel. I have mixed emotions about this hotel. This is still day one, so we'll get into a detailed review here soon, but it is time for breakfast. So we came here for Saturday, Sunday, and some of Monday. Weather said it was not gonna rain. We can never trust the weather channel. Cool little rooms. Reminds me of how Arco Santi was set up. How oh, just like really small rooms lined up in a row. Now let's go to the breakfast spot. Hopefully this rain stops soon. Jesse. Okay. You guys, the coffee's included at the bar right there. You just go and grab as much as you want. And here we got the menu. Everything's included except the extras on the bottom. All right, so you get the fresh, fresh cut fruit, fresh squeezed juice coffee and I got a breakfast burrito on the way and we thought it wasn't gonna rain here because we checked the weather and turns out it's always raining here it's like baños so we'll see what we can do to make the best of it all right guys so I got my breakfast burrito some homemade salsa avocado balloons and fried eggs I guess you can't beat all those for an included breakfast for sure. Pretty relaxing patio. Alright guys, so a couple pieces of advice. Do not book multiple nights here. Book them, I would come here and just pay for a single night at a time. It doesn't make sense to book multiple nights here and then you decide you want to go somewhere else because of the weather or anything it just becomes a challenge because there's no refunds there's no exchanging there's no getting credit so i would recommend just come here pay for the nights that you want to stay per night that'd be your best option to do here that way you can move around freely go see the other cities around here there we go there we go so we got this trail of termites running to this painting and they're coming from here they're all over the floor. Some of the pillows had stains in here on them before we even used them, so we just threw them to the side, decided not to use them. Guys, I swear this hotel is so confusing. I'm not gonna recommend this hotel to anybody. Do you wanna explain what happened? Because I, I need taxes, because I have to to show the taxes uh, each uh, year. Uh-huh. And I said, uh, give me a bill. And she said, if you want a bill, you have to pay more for the 12% of the tax. And I said, but why well, you didn't tell me that before? And she said, you didn't ask me. And I said, but it's your service. You have to say it. If it's not convenient yeah. for me, maybe I will find another hotel. And she said, eh, sorry, but I work uh, a lot of time with foreign people and they never ask for, for bill. <laughs> Guys, this hotel is so confusing. So if you guys listen to what she was saying, she was saying she asked for a receipt and she was told if you want a receipt, you have to pay 12% more than you already paid. And we asked, why would we pay that? She said, because you didn't ask me for a receipt before. Now, someone please explain to me how the f that makes sense. Piece of advice, don't ever stay at this Buen Vida Hotel. I'll find you guys a better hotel to stay at. I don't even want to make a video of this place because it's not even worth it. We are in Ayampe and we are going to a beach, the Los Frailes. Los Frailes Beach. It's a little further north. We're gonna go through like three beach towns to get there. It's supposed to only be 13 miles, 
but 13 miles here will take 40 minutes because of the windy roads and just kind of how the roads are here. But this should be a pretty scenic route. It should, we should be driving along the coast the entire time. So we are on the E15 right now going north and we're just going to keep following it north until we get there. All right, guys, so we drove 40 minutes away from the Buena Vida Hostel. We are at Los Frailes Beach. Um, we had to park in the parking lot across the street because the main parking lot was full. So they have one right across the street that you can park at. I think entrance is free. They just have a limited number of cars that you can park there. So we're walking towards the beach now. It's a little rainy, a little windy, a little chilly, but it's nice. We'll make the most of it since we're already here. We're gonna have some fun. Let's grow no bad nations. We walked into the entrance of Las Frailas Beach and they had a bunch of rickshaws there. Like I said before, they have a certain limited number of cars that they let in, then they block it and they line up rickshaws at the front. And so this is, he said a two and a half kilometer walk. He said either you can walk it or you can take the rickshaw and pay $3. It was each way, but we didn't mind taking the walk. We kind of wanted to have a walk anyway. So we're taking the walk and we'll take a rickshaw back it's a nice little trail though. I mean, it's not even a trail, it's just a giant road. A gravel road that they have cut out. It's super easy to walk, it's not stressful. Or you can get a rickshaw like that. For three dollars. All right guys, so we are still in the parking lot. We just went to the bathrooms right here in the parking lot. Then they have a changing room that way. Bathrooms are 25 cents to use, a dollar to take a shower. And then they have changing rooms for free right here. So we're gonna go in the changing rooms, change up into our clothes and then head to the beach, which is right back there. All right guys, so we are at the entrance now. We went through the changing rooms and the bathroom. We got all changed up and now we are walking in. Let's see. So we are here, 0.9 miles to the beach. So we just walked through the entrance. He said no smoking on the beach and that the beach closes at 3.30. So we have to be done by 3.30. And no food also. And no food, no, no food, cheese. no drinks, nothing on the beach. They're trying to keep this beach super clean. Super cute beach. <laughs> 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 So Los Frailes is a super cool, super secluded beach here. Um, it's a long walk to get to. It's about a two kilometer walk or about a mile walk. And I mean, you could take the rickshaw like you saw the other people doing, uh, unless you got here early and drove. But no drinks, no snacks, no smoking, no none, none of that on the beach. You gotta have your mask with you. You can take it off once you get to the beach, but you gotta bring, you gotta wear it until you get to the beach. Um, the water is awesome though. Water is super cool. Really blue, yeah, really clean water for sure.
So it's getting closer to three and three, three o'clock, and the waves just keep getting bigger and bigger. The brakes are getting huge. I mean, not like Mavericks huge, but it's they're getting big, big enough to surf. Give me a big one. There we go. Okay. All right, Nomad Nation, so it's getting to 3.30, so it is time to leave the beach. We're probably about to go find a good seafood lunch here. And then from there, we're back to a Yampe. Yeah. That is really smart. So there's birds that can actually take those needles and use them to get into hard to reach flowers. And for example, sometimes the, wor the, the worms are in the, flowers? In the trees. Mm -hmm. And they do that and oh, they wow. take off the That's worms. really smart. So I didn't know that they, instead of using them for the flowers, they also use them to catch worms. All right guys, so we are leaving now. Here is the taxi stand with all the rickshaws that we're about to go grab one. Should be about three bucks back to the car. And then we're going to go get some lunch at one of the best seafood restaurants we can find in here. Okay. Okay. this park this is the pathway we just walked and I think we walked this one which was two two kilometers oh my god the spider web oh, cool. holy shit it's like Halloween <laughs> guys I have never seen a spider web of this magnitude or level this is Like this has got to be like hundreds of spiders in here. If one spider did that, that is amazing. That's so Look crazy. For the spider. Let's see if we can find it. See that moth it just got stuck? There's so many moths stuck in here. Oh no, that moth made it out. Nope, he's stuck inside. You see him? Oh, the spider's coming to him. Spider got him, spider got him, spider got him. Look, one, there, and another one, three. Whoa, he got four, him. Five, Spider got him. Whoa. Got him, got him, got him. That was insane. I wish I can zoom in on that. Oh, there are a lot of spiders. A lot. Whoa, I just saw a spider kill them all. That was look, impressive. Another spider there. Can you see? Yeah, I see that four already. Oh, look, a lot of insects there. Yeah. Die. Dead? <laughs> they kill them and then they leave them there to eat. Wow. Look at all these insects dead. 
Oh my God, so many insects. Nuts, Joe. Did y'all just see that spider kill that moth? That was insane. <laughs> Restaurante así super rico para comer mariscos. Más abajo. All right, guys. So you saw that? Cops said go to Puerto Lopez. So it's down that way. We're gonna jump in the car, head that way, get some good seafood lunch, and then we're gonna go back to our hotel for tonight. So we're in Puerto Lopez now. We're almost at the street that has the market that we're going to. Look at how dogs act out here. Thank you for watching that video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And how about checking out this video or this one?